Grade 6 math number 9.7b, writing and understanding algebraic multiplication expressions. Whew, what a mouthful. Okay, for some of you this is going to be a review and for others it's going to be a necessary review, okay? A variable is a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown number. Instead of leaving a blank space like we did in kindergarten and first grade, we're going to put a letter of the alphabet there, okay? That's all. As little children, we're taught to use an X to mean multiply, and then in middle school, we're told, no, don't use an X. X means something else. That's really confusing. All right. X is a variable, and a variable is a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown number. X plus 3 equals 5. Well, X equals 2. Well, why don't we teach that from the start? We should teach 5-year-olds to use the correct signs from the beginning, and it's really confusing. Well, even I'm guilty of using the X to mean multiply because that's what's in the Common Core books, and I should know better. I shouldn't be following along, right? Well, I think from now on, when I teach second or third grade multiplication, I'm going to put a dot, but that's just me. So here's how we can tell. When they're using it for multiplication, it's a big, huge X. It's the same size as the numbers. It's like a capital. When they're using it as a variable, it's a little X like this. See, it's a lowercase X, all right? So that's one way to help you tell. But from now on, because you're not a little kid anymore, here's the ways to write multiplication equations. You use a dot, all right? This means 3 times 2 is 6. That dot means to multiply. You can also put the number next to parentheses to mean multiplication. Now, when you see these green asterisks, that means that's what's most widely used in algebra. And we're getting deeper into algebra, so you need to know this, okay? So no more x. That's a variable. So just put it next to the parentheses, all right? That means to multiply. You can also see parentheses next to parentheses. That means to multiply. Or you could see the number next to a bracket. And you have to do what's in the parentheses first, what's in the bracket first, and then you would do that one on the outside because of order of operations, but it still means to multiply when it's next to a bracket. The other way is, and this is a biggie, you're going to see it next to a variable. That means to multiply. Now this looks like five times something, but that's exactly what it does mean. It means five times x. So don't get it confused because it's not the same size as the five, okay? If the x is a little bit smaller, it's a variable, okay? And you'll notice that in your book. Now, even your book is still probably using x to mean times table. Ah, that's very confusing. Here they're teaching you about variables, but they're still using x to mean times table. Oh, what are we going to do with these people? Okay, so when you see a value weight, just follow your order of operations. This looks very confusing, and it looks like this big, huge algebra problem, but it's really easy when you break it down and take it little steps at a time. Okay, so we're going to multiply what's with the parentheses. The 2 times 3 is 6, and we've got 4 times 3 is 12. It says to add them together. 6 plus 12 is 18. 6y equals 18. Oh, come on, that's so easy. 6 times 3 is 18. y equals 3. Wasn't that easy? So it may look r like some big, huge, you know, algebra problem, but when you take it little steps at a time, it's really very simple. In fact, that's the way life is. When you look at big, huge problems all at once, they look just like huge mountains to climb. But if you take little pieces of the problem and solve them, it's doable, okay? When you see evaluate, it means to find the numerical value of an algebraic expression. Remember, an algebraic expression has one variable in it. It went from being an equation to being an expression because of that y. The minute we put a variable in it, it became an expression. Isn't that funny? I hope it's a smile type of an expression, right? Like an expression on your face. Anyway, remember, a variable is a letter of the alphabet that's taking the place of an unknown number Use parentheses, use dots, use brackets. When you see it written next to a lowercase letter, that's the variable. When it's a big, huge x, the same size as the numerals, then you know it means multiply. But please, that's for reading it. To write it, start doing it this way, like the grown-ups, okay? You're not a little baby anymore. We're going to do it the big kid way, all right? The big guy way. I hope this is helpful. We're going to continue on and we're going to start seeing more stuff like this. So I wanted to just clarify all this so that there's no misunderstandings, okay? I'm not going to use an X anymore. You shouldn't use an X anymore. We're going to start doing it the high school college way, okay? See you next video. Bye.